So, the importance of maintaining a high vibe, it cannot be understated, it can't be understated. Each of us has specific challenges that we're trying to get better at, that we're trying to overcome. Maybe for you it's dating, maybe for you it's making money, maybe it's something else, your health maybe, and maybe it's all three or whatever, right? It could be any assortment, everybody's different. But the thing is, is that what happens for most people is that their life spirals down into a pit of despair because they don't follow this following advice. Everybody has challenges they're trying to overcome, different areas of their life that they're trying to improve. But um, when you're in a rut, recognize that you're in a rut, okay? Uh, my energy is just terrible, I don't want to do anything, all I want to do is watch YouTube and eat food, you know, blah. I've been there. Okay? Now, Recognize that and get out as quickly as you can. Focus on speed. Now, humans have a really hard time thinking about, one, not doing things. They have a really hard time with that, not doing things. And also, simplicity. Quickness. The simplicity of what I'm talking about is, un is unbelievable. When you're in a rut, you just got to go out. Okay, I'm getting out. I don't care. Out of this rut. And I recognise that's probably not helpful for many people, but try it. Because a lot of you will just be like, that's not helpful for me. When you go, try it. Go try it. But yeah, so... Um, because some people live in a rut. Some people enter a rut and have never gotten out of it. A rut, dips, what these are, are just dips in emotion, dips in vibe. And uh, they're temporary, they're supposed to be temporary. And if we don't have, if we don't maintain a high vibe, then we can't tackle our main issues. We can't overcome our main challenges in life. Maybe you're trying to get a place, you're trying to get a house. Maybe you're trying to finish some assignments that's going to make your life way better. You're going to get a master's degree or something like that. Maybe you're trying to build your business. Maybe you're trying to improve your dating life. This can't be done on a low vibe. You've got to protect your vibe, you've got to maintain your vibe, and you've got to have leadership, you've got to take leadership, take responsibility for your vibe, for how you feel on a day-to-day -day basis. It's not anybody else's responsibility but yours. And this is the power. This is the power of stoicism. Nothing can affect your emotions but you. If there's a hurricane, I'm still, I'm still okay. How? Well, we'll go into deep spirituality now, which is, you are, we are, that which is aware of what's happening, that which is aware of life. We are that which is aware, we are what is aware of the world and also the mind which includes emotions. And if we are aware of suffering, the suffering is there, and we are here looking at it, at suffering, we're looking at suffering, can we be suffering at all? Try it out. Look in your own experience and see. This is the best news. And if your lifestyle is that you want to play, you want to play the game, you want to be a human being, and you want to experience the, the life of a human being, then this is very important. But 
I say this to say that you don't have to live like this. You don't have to try and make money. You don't have to try and improve yourself, really. You could be a yogi. 